Hey guys, I just want to take a minute to talk to you about basic metabolic rate. Uh, this is a term I use to describe the amount of energy, aka calories, uh, that your body burns at rest without any physical activity or any digestion occurring after a meal. Um, it's a really important component of your body's total metabolism, uh, making up about 70% of it uh, on average per day. And so it's an important process that you should understand. Uh, the definition or the purpose of basic metabolic rate is to maintain the vital organs of the body. So this includes, uh, certainly not limited to, but includes the heart, lungs, liver, kidneys, brain. You can imagine all those things are really important to maintain, even when you're, you know, so when you're sleeping, when you're breathing, uh, when you're awake, whatever, you always have to have those functions going. It also helps with skeletal muscle, uh, sex organs, and skin. Those are also essential. Um, your, an individual's uh, basic basal metabolic rate varies wildly from one individual to another, as you can uh, expect. Um, things that are associated with a higher basal metabolic rate are, include uh, higher muscle mass, more lean, lean muscle, height, and weight. Uh, increasing age is actually associated with a decrease in basal metabolic rate. Um, the rate is, basal metabolic rate is generally higher uh, in men than women. And there are a few other factors that affect it, such as illness, environment, uh, stress, and those can drive it up or down depending on the situation. And also genetics does play a role. And we know this because people who have very similar physical builds, such as height, weight, uh, gender, lean body mass, two people that are essentially identical on paper, ha can have very different basal metabolic rates. Um, you can actually estimate your basal metabolic rate using a basal metabolic rate calculator or a total daily energy expenditure calculator. Either one usually will work fine. Uh, if you just Google that, it'll pop right up. Um, one model example, just so you hear one, is the Harris-Benedict equation. Uh, you can actually also use uh, the, uh, another model called the respiratory quotient. I don't know how often that one's used, um, but the Harris-Benedict is pretty common. So just in summary, real quickly, uh, basal metabolic rate is essentially everything your body has to do except digest food and except physical activity. It makes up 70% of your body's total daily energy expenditure, so it's very important. Uh, and knowing your BMR can actually help you estimate how many calories your body's using per day and help guide your decision making as far as level of activity, uh, food intake, and how to be, live, a, live a healthier life.